Why does it seem that emotional doubt often settles on the most important areas such as family, salvation, health, and so forth? There's a lot hiding behind that question. Um, you probably do ask yourself a lot of what if things about what's for dinner, where are we going to go, we could head to the ball game this weekend, um, should I do this or that tonight? You know, we only have one TV and watch my program or your program. You know, we have a lot of those, but they're so minute, we go right past them, don't even know we're, we're doing it. But secondly, our deepest doubts, just think about it, our deepest doubts settle on things that are most important to us. If you're a parent, you have little kids, the health of your children, it'd be hard to beat that. Your faith, hard to beat that. Their faith, your kids' faith, hard to beat that. How are you going to divide up the check this week if you don't if you don't have enough to pay the bills? Now, that might be fourth or fifth because you know you can carry it for a few weeks, mm -hmm. but it's still going to cause some stress. So we have levels of what uh, cause stress. On the kids one, uh, there's a story I tell in my family that's just brilliant. It illustrates this. Um, my mother got married when she was 18. Mm -hmm. I was born uh, a year later. And my brother a year after that. So by the time my mom was 20, um, she had two young children, two years old, one year old. And we were both sick. We weren't keeping anything down. Pretty obvious she needed to go to the doctors. She went to the doctors and the physician said, ma'am, I've seen 50 cases this week. It's the flu. Well, what, can, what can you give me? What can you, ma'am, I can't give you anything, it's a virus. No antibiotics going to work on it. What can I do? Take your boys home, get a lot of sleep, and a lot of liquids. Well, like what? I remember him specifically saying to my mom, hot tea would be good because it's a clear liquid uh, or ginger ale or, you know. And I'm thinking to myself, I like ginger ale, I hate tea because I'm just kind of hearing this. And my mom said, I'm just really worried. I'm, I don't know if I, because I had 105 temperature, my brother had 104. And the doctor saw that. And he said, ma'am, let me tell you something. In my professional viewpoint, if there were my, my boys, mm -hmm. I wouldn't worry about them. And my mom said, she didn't say it, but the thought shot into her mind in just a second. And she said, with all due respect, if, you, if they were your boys, I wouldn't worry about them. The point that this is so high, up, far up on my list is because they're my boys. What well, don't you get about my boys? Now, she didn't say that anything. She didn't say it to her, but that's the thought she got. Of course, you wouldn't worry if they were my boys. I wouldn't worry if they were yours. So, my boys and my husband and my faith, I don't think anything is more important right now. Health in general, family, faith. Um... And that's how we're wired. So you probably don't remember all the little decisions you make all day long because you could have things go the opposite way and uh, you won't be hurt. You know, if you decide to go somewhere to lunch and you guys take off and get in the car and you go there and it's closed, oh, bummer. You only you have less time. Let's go to fast food now. But you're not going to die over it. So you don't remember those kind of illustrations. But the kind that really matter eternity, health of my kids, my husband and wife, they do. So anxiety normally settles. Just think about it. It settles on those things that are most important to us. You don't notice the other ones that you answer a mile a minute and you don't settle down to spend time on the subjects that do demand that or that we demand that we have more reason for. for. We say most important and also those things that can potentially cause the most pain. Yeah, that's good. Most pain, most disruption in our family. How about if you're really, if your faith is really important to you, how about for eternity? Mm -hmm. If uh, 40 more years is important now, how about eternity? Right. So.